Legend has it that once our world was whole, our people were one, our society was united, but then the fires came. Lair setting is a world in chaos, and the chaos is coming from a climate catastrophe where basically volcanoes have thrown the whole world into turmoil. What has happened is that it's made it difficult for them to have fresh water, it's made it difficult for them to farm, and now resources are scarce. We're asking a lot of questions in it which are pertinent to our world as it is nowadays, and trying to inject that a little bit into the story. As devastating as their advent was, the volcanoes unleashed an even greater force upon the people. Fear. We're trying to reinvent fantasy on a certain level. Lair is basically about a guy named Roan, who is a sky guard in the Acilian army. It's sort of the story of his inner journey and outer journey as he fights against the evil in the world. He's fighting a war that he doesn't necessarily want to fight. Mount up, Roan! The Lokai are torching the city! But he feels a sense of obligation of protecting his people, his city, from the other race. So he's sort of a reluctant warrior initially. Two societies, two paths, one working with nature, the other conquering it. Volcanoes have split the continent and split up the groups of people. There is now a upper class aristocracy, the Assyrians, that have all the culture and all the know-how and all the beautiful buildings. And then there is a lower class, the Mokai, that live separate from them, that are more thought of as barbarians. And the Assyrians move forward taking nature and bending it to serve their will. So you'll see a lot of them using things like water wheels and dominating the environment, whereas the Mokai tried to involve nature in their culture more, and what ended up happening for them is that actually gave them a technological advantage. I can't believe the range their catapults have. Who said the Mokai were primitive? Kobakai is the young Hotspur of the Mokai. His father is one of the main generals. His father's missing an arm from all the horrible warfare that he suffered. And he is a tired soldier. He's tired of the fighting and he wants to end the madness between the two countries. It's a good morning for peace. It is always a good morning for peace, General. That's why you need so many soldiers. Enough, Kobakai! His son, who I play, Koba, is not so hip to this. He's not so trusting of the Sicilians. Of the volcanoes that have been sent. Roan is reasonably idealistic, and when the politics in the world start to take shape and the story unfolds, he'll find himself having to make some very difficult moral choices. And we're hoping that the player really comes along for the ride and experiences Roan's journey along with him. We shouldn't be fighting! The Diviner prophesied the battle, so it is done!